Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can submit an offer and fill out your commissions portion. They've done an update on this, so now offers and commissions are in the same place and they're tied together. So we're in opportunities and we're within my opportunity for a listing, an active listing, and it's 123 Main Street, Mount Henry listing. So I'm going to show you today how to add an offer and how to fill out the commissions portion. Click add new offer. You can add multiple offers here and pull an offer comparison. I'm gonna just enter one offer. Set the offer date here. I'm gonna set it as January 14th and my close date is going to be the 15th of February. Move forward to parties. This is where the opposite party, you do need the client name and the agent name. I'm gonna fill that out. Um, fill out if they're pre-approved or pre-qualified. Click forward to the terms. On this section, you are going to fill out the cash amount and the finance amount, and it will calculate the sales price. So again, you don't fill out the sales price, you just fill in the cash and finance amount, earnest amount, typically 3%, go ahead and put whatever that is. We don't typically use these fields in California, so you can skip those if they don't apply. Click forward to the agent analysis. If you are using the offer comparison, then you probably wanna fill this out. I'm gonna just move forward so that we can get to commissions. All right, so now you see my offer here. And I do need to either accept or reject this offer. I'm going to click accept. Great. And now notice I can now click manage commission here. When I click that, first the general information tab needs to be filled out. I'm going to click general, edit general information. Um, this part came from the offer. It looks like it just didn't pick up the contract date. So I'm going to refill that out. January 14th, and it is closing on the 15th. It did pull that date in from the accepted offer. So if you need to edit that information, go back and edit the offer. Unaccept it and edit it. I'm gonna click Save Changes here. Great, so that is all filled out. And now to edit the commissions portion. So here is my commission summary. It shows how much I am earning toward my cap. My, um, this is my royalty cap and this is my regular cap. The yellow part shows how much I'm contributing. I'm gonna click edit payment info because we are gonna add some deductions here. Now, don't forget to add a deduction for broker resource law group. It's always 129 for residential purchases. Um, and you can just put BRLG here and pay to BRLG. The address, you can put one of our office addresses. And this, um, you can put your number. This really doesn't matter down here. Um, we will mail their checks from the brokerage, so um, you don't need to worry about that. If you have a deduction for a um, TC, you want to make sure the address is correct because that's where title will send it to or for home warranty. You want to make sure if it's, uh, you know, an outside vendor, you definitely have the right address filled in here. Right. And let's just say I want to add another deduction for like a referral fee. Um, you can do inside referrals or outside referrals through here. So let's just say I'm going to do inside referral. Um, and I would calculate the amount based on the total and then type it in here. Let's just say I have an agreement that it was going to be 2000 And then I can search through our agents within my same office. And then click Add. And then Save Changes there. On the right-hand side, here is my summary and the total breakdown. And then I can click Submit. Just a quick tip, if it says add listing, you don't actually need to add a listing. You just wanna to go to the details section here and add a property address here. All right, thanks guys.